Hey everyone, today I'll show two examples of how you can filter jQuery objects with elements or just plain array items using Cypress built-in commands and a little bit of Cypress map just to make it a little bit more convenient. So imagine I'm loading this table after one second and what I want to confirm is that the first column has even number cells with values Peter and Mary. So let's get the table, the body and rows. So after a while, four rows. And what I want to do, I want to find in each row the first element. Okay, so notice this are the first. And I'm going to map each DOM element to its inner text property. And this list of strings should be equal and the values are Peter, Mary. And of course they're not because we're not doing the filtering just yet. So how would you filter each DOM element from the jQuery object yielded to you by SciGet? Well, Cypress has SciFilter and there is a built-in CSS selector that you can apply colon even. So notice what happens. It returns four elements we filter and only return elements that match CSS selector even, and then inside each row find the first cell, map it to the strings in our text property and confirm value. And because all these commands, say get, say filter, say find, say map from my Cypress map plugin, all are queries. When the assertion at the end fails, it goes back to the very first query in this chain and retries it and filters it again and again. So this is why it's retrying for one second until elements appear. Now, if you need a little bit more complicated filtering, right? Instead of CSS selector, you can add your own plugin, uh, not plugin, callback function, excuse me, where the first argument is the index and the second is the element, okay? And in this case, we can skip the element and just say, if you divide the index by two and get zero, you get even elements. So it works the same way. Of course, if we wanted to do more complicated filtering by some attributes inside the element, we could do that. So this was SciFilter if you use jQuery subject from the previous command. What happens if instead of a jQuery, you have just plain array? For example, you could get this array from a fixture, from network response, from application state. And in this case, I simulate a dynamic array by first having two items and then adding two more. And I want to do the same thing. I want to wrap this array of people and I want to maybe map each item to its name property. And I want to get only the even items. And so they should be equal to Joe and Anne. And right now it will fail because we're not doing the filtering. Okay, so if we try to do the same thing and we'll say, okay, maybe uh, use filter, right? K and then say X item, right? The actual object divide by two should be zero. Sci filter will complain and it will retry and try and try that this is not a DOM element. So instead of using built in Sci filter, you can use the built in query called invoke because we're dealing with an array and the array has a method to filter. So we'll say filter and remember the array filters first have an object of an item for an array and the index. So we can use the same logic, just have to remember to switch the arguments order. So no need to invent additional query methods. You can use the built-in sci-invoke, which retries, it's a query command. Or if you're dealing with dumb elements and jQuery objects, you can use sci-filter command. 